Well guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time it's another Before It's Out video, but it's something a little different. This is for a third party toy. Originally, Before It's Out is dedicated to Hasbro toys, but I decided, you know what, why not do some third party figures? So this is actually going to be the first third party figure I'm going to take a look at for the Before It's Out series. If you guys want to comment below and let me know any other third party figures that, have, that are uh, coming out that you guys want me to do a video on, I might look into doing that, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, now Before It's Out is a series of videos to where I take a look at a figure before it actually gets released, before there's actually a, a review of the toy, to kind of compare my thoughts between um, now as I'm recording this to when it gets released, when I do see the reviews, and maybe if I get it in hand, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, for today's video, we are taking a look at the reformatted R24 Turban by Mastermind Creations. This is basically a recreation of Whirl. It's a not Whirl figure. And uh, taking a look at the uh, helicopter mode, or whatever, the VTOL mode, um, it looks really good. I, I like the style of it. Um, I, I kind of like how his hands transform into the little um, turbine, not turbine, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying. You, you can see the hands in that. Um, I like the shape of this. I, I really do. It, it's got like an alien type shape to it, and I love it. Uh, the guns hanging off to the sides. They look pretty good, but they kind of ruin his sharp, pointy, and then curved design. I, I don't know, it just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. That's not to say that it's bad, or I don't understand why it looks like that. It just feels like those weapons should have had like, some like sharp points to them or something like that, just to kind of fit with the overall design of the character. Then again, those are just his weapons. Those aren't actually part of the uh, the actual um, character itself. Uh, but it's just, that's actually just me nitpicking at this point because the alt mode looks really good. I like its style. I like the wings and how it's got these two giant uh, beams of plastic that just kind of hold it in place. I don't know why, it's just something about that looks really good. The cockpit is pretty cool. Um, I like the color choice, the light blue. Um, so far, it looks a lot better than the um, the uh, the Hasbro one, the Hasbro Whirl that was actually released for the Generations lineup. Um, I don't hate that figure, but it doesn't really look that great. I, I mean, it's supposed to look like the Generation 1 Whirl, more so than the IDW, uh, IDW one, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I haven't really taken a look at the IDW comics, and I know that some characters have like different versions in the comics, but as far as I know, I haven't really seen a world that actually looks like that, especially with the modern IDW comics. Um, this one looks closer to that, um, at least in robot mode. Speaking of robot mode, let's go ahead and go to the robot mode. And it looks really good. There's some charm to him. I, I really like that. Um, I actually like the kibble hanging off of the arms that, um, I don't know, there's just something about that that I really like. And Whirl always had kind of like a, a weird look to him, a weird aesthetic, especially in the comics. And uh, this turban figure actually represents that pretty well. I, I will say that. I, I like the chest and how that sticks out. I think the head is pretty cool. Um, again, the color choices is very nice. Um, I like that he's, he's got the chicken legs, which is pretty cool, you know. Um, some people may not like that in some figures. Um, but one, the, uh, what is it, the Oberon shows that you can actually straighten out the legs. So if you don't like that, you can do that. Um, but as far as uh, the turban figure, that actually does work out for it. Um, it just looks really good. I, I, I don't know what it is exactly, but I love the hands and how they just, they look creepy to me. Um, his style is just, it's charming, creepy, and that's pretty much what the character looked like. I, I mean, every time I look at Whirl in the comics, like I Google search Whirl, it, it just has this creepy look, but also a sense of charm to it. And this one continues that. Um, does it look 100% like the IDW version that I've seen? 
mm, I can nitpick it all I want, but again, that's just me nitpicking. Me personally, I like the look of it. I'm sorry that I'm not so deep into IDW comics, um, but uh, I, I gotta say, as far as this is concerned, like, not even concerning myself with the IDW comics, this looks pretty good. I, I love the style of it. Um, the coloring is pretty good. Um, maybe could have a couple of extra added details, but that's fine. Um, just overall, his design is pretty cool. I would love to see this as a purple character. I'm not going to name names, but um, him in purple, like a, a certain cloud figure would be pretty cool, but I don't know. Um, maybe that's just me, because I like that purple character. Anyways, um, this is pretty cool. I, I, I gotta say, kinda jealous that this is not like the Generations world. Cause again, I don't hate the Generations world, but it's not great, you know? I, and I would much rather have this over the Generations world. So anyways, that is pretty much it. Please comment below, let me know your thoughts. Please do that, because this is open for discussion. You guys can go ahead and type in whatever, as long as it's not demeaning to anyone. Um, if you disagree with me, then you disagree with me. If you agree with me, you agree with me. Um, but personally, I really want Turban. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't buy a lot of third-party toys because they're usually very expensive. But, um, not sure, but I might change my mind about this one. I, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but very good. I, I, I love the design of it, and Mastermind Creations, you've done it again. You've hit the ball right out of the park. It's, it's all the way in Nebraska. I don't know how, how to lead up with that joke. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Fist bump.